Alright guys, so I've been, I expanded the farm, and it appears that we are good on all sides. Can I destroy here? Can I destroy below? Can I destroy above? Alright, the whole area is now secured. I'm going to proceed into farming. Okay guys, so, um, interesting story. I'm right now on that server, the Intox server. There's fugitives talking, and I'm in the nether. And there's a nether portal. So, yeah. Um, kind of weird, not gonna lie. There's some fire. Looks like it just comes down here. Just keeps going down. Huh, that's really bizarre. I thought nether rack was like really, really hard to get or something, but it's not. All you need to do is make your own little nether tor portal. So, I want to show you guys where this nether portal is, so you guys know. Okay, so, let's go back up to the surface. So, you guys know that there is houses that you can purchase. So, this is somebody's house that I randomly walked into. You know, because I'm a good person. I don't know if you're allowed to go into people's... This is actually a different house than what I... What the... What? Just one moment. I'm just a little confused. I just had my inception, and I don't know where I am. That's the spawn building. Which side am I on? What? What? All right, I'm going back towards the original area that I went. Okay, so let's retrace my steps. I was over at the hospital messing around, looking for something to do, and I was looking at some people's houses. So there's like one of these people's, okay, if I remember correctly, I was randomly running. I jumped over this thing. And then I saw it was one of these two houses. I went to the right one. So I remember looking at it and being like, this is stupid. But then there was a ladder. There's the ladder. Okay, I go down here. And then there's the ender portal. So this is the ender portal I went through. Or nether portal, rather. Went through here. And then I popped out here. I was like, oh my god. I'm in the ender, nether. Whichever fucking it's with the zombies and the shit. And oh, there's actually a path over here. Does this lead somewhere? I don't know. I'm lagging really hard right now. Okay, now I'm not lagging. Because I'm probably like the only person here, so it's like take, waiting for the server to load it. Come on, server, load chunks. Good girl. Oh, here, it looks like there's like the main nether area over here where it's like really vast. That's cool. There's one zombie pigment over there. That's the only one I see. This entire area. Alright, it's Coolio. I'm gonna roll back here and head straight through that portal again before I die of hunger. Time to run! Oh, you guys like my sword? I got an enchanted one. Fuck. Oh, there's the portal. Okay. So, I go back to the portal. There we go. And sometimes I guess it just randomly teleports you to a different portal. Okay, it's a different portal. No, same, wait. Different portal. Yeah, different portal. Okay. Yeah, because this is, this was nowhere near plot 28. Okay, that was weird. So I guess it just always teleports me to a different one. But anyways, guys, so there's a bunch of, like, random houses and stuff over here. And it's actually kind of cool going in there because there's, like, shops. And people never act once you buy a plot I guess you get to keep it pretty much forever just see like right there there's a random shoot there's a random shop that I'd never find of course a lot of them are out of sh stock because like th that's one thing that I think this server does very well is that they do rentals so people don't play on minecraft servers forever let's face the facts and when you buy a house like this a lot of times you might cut quit playing after a couple weeks or you forget about it because you moved on to the next drug addiction server um so that being said like rentals make sense because it's after a couple days you know somebody it turns over somebody else gets to rent it and then it's just kind of like you're using the same space but it makes it so that like longevity will always be solved for you wow that's a cool looking base thing doesn't even look like a base it just looks like a baller place I want to get inside of it Oh my god, I can see the floor too. I can see everything. I actually 
I really want to buy one of these plots, but they're none of them are for sale. I want to buy one. All right, I wish my shop had as good as market of uh, marketing as this kid. So it's trans fats grand fap. Get your fine ass in here for price for good prices and unique items. Buying bones, lots and lots of bones. All right, so he just he just trolls people so you see like shop 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 all of a sudden I was like whoa you thought this was a f uh, shop chest you fucking scrub just randomly trash talking out of a fucking minecraft sign come on bro come on it's got glowstone and it's just like done done you know just more shops you know typical shit and he's like I ain't got shit to put here wait till I do it's like hold, hold up I don't have anything to do I'm just gonna put a fucking sign here just to mess with you. And I like the fact that it's not like there's like a couple of chests at the end with signs that he had like free stuff that he didn't have anything to put. He just randomly puts random signs just to fuck with you. And the best part is the last one, the most expensive thing in the shop. Cost one, two, four, five, six, seven. There's no three in there. And it's for sexual favors. And I like the fact that he even typed out one just to make sure it was clear. And he misspelled his own names. <laughs> Change fuck. Change fuck. Oh, I get because he's gonna. Because it's, it's sexual, so he's gonna be fucking. But he misspelled fuck. But it was with like the pH, so it makes it sound fat. So I'm, I'm done talking. Alright, I'm gonna walk away now. Oh my god, I don't know why. Cougarlicious. That's just. It needs to be said. You know, this person isn't selling anything. That's the most awesome name ever. Oh shit. I didn't even notice this. Okay, by the rest, by like the Italian restaurant, this little like section grower drug shop. Huh. Probably should have found this earlier. On a serious note, though, I did just get bored, so now I'm just kind of like randomly like looking for things I haven't noticed before. I'm exploring. Okay, I'm exploring a whole new world. Oh my God! How did I forget to mention? Trans fat selling TNT for only fifty a piece. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I guess the shop must have run out. Because I noticed that sometimes when my shops run out, the sign is in the chest, and I'm just kind of like, what the hell? So I guess if the chest run out, the sign typically goes inside of it. Oh, I guess that's just when the player's offline. Because when the player's online, it gives you like annoying notifications. You're out of shit. Come restock me. It's like a needy girl. Oh, there's my shop. Okay, cool. I'm going to TNT the place. Let's do this. If only the old school TNT worked. Bored 2 o'clock in the morning time. All right, so it is 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm bored. And I've got a stack of TNT that I've purchased. Time to see if TNT works on this server. I'm just going to dig out of my base. Oh, what do you know? A little protected area over there. Um. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. I dug out of the wrong end. Let's seal that back up. And let's roll on over past my alt, who's of course just AFKing. And here we go. Okay. So let's see if TNT even works on the server. Bloop. Bloop. That's always a good sign. And. And. It doesn't really work. So that was expensive little test. So let's try to see if like there's some glitch around it. Maybe a little upper TNT too. Let's see, can I still take damage? Nope. That's not cool. 